Good afternoon, everybody. Friday afternoon. That light's a little bit bright. Um, just wanted to hop on and do a, um, a recap of the trade ideas we've posted this week. It's been a really good solid week on the trade ideas. Um, and um, last week I did a recap as well. First things first, though, I've just posted a reel on my socials where I've been trading the 30 second gold chart scalping using magic keys. So that's on my Instagram. Go and check that out. You need premium for the 30 second, but you could also do on the one minute chart. That's worked quite well. Um, but yeah, into the trade ideas for the week. Hopefully you've been um, able to, to catch some of these moves in line with your own analysis. It's always difficult if you are just chopping and changing and random and hopping on random different trade ideas. You, you know, there's no guarantee you've got a trading edge in doing so. So um, pound NZD. Last trade idea hit this short position. That's to be fair, that's one, two, three. And then this fourth trade, um, this one hit take profit quite quickly as well. So that was posted at the time of the signal on trading view. We've got Euro USD. Let's just have a look at this one. I'm going to have a look at the last six um, in particular. So let's just look at this in, in, in entirety. So we've got the buy, hit take profit, the sell, hit take profit, that sell, hit take profit. That sell hit take profit. This long hit take profit. So did that short. And then we had this open trade here. Um, that one would have been marginal. Still playing out. Not quite hit take profit yet, but coming back to test this low. So if you're in that trade, hopefully that's near in take profit for you. Um, all of our trade ideas have the data to support them. That's how, how our edge strategy works. So the whole idea is for you to see how edge strategy can help you with um, your speculation, your discretion, your guesswork ultimately in trying to predict where the market's going to go. This is a systematic based strategy that's looking for edge reversal is looking for areas of reversal in the market with usually a one to one risk to reward. But we only need a 50 percent and above win weight, win weight, win rate to have an edge in the market. So, for example, on this one, there's a win rate of. 57.93 and that confirms a net profit and a trading edge yeah um so that's two out of two um euro chf short position uh let's take a look at that that one is still running it hasn't hit stop loss in a bit of drawdown right now uh winner loser loser winner winner and then an open position so um that's that one. We saw the pound NZD. That one hit take profit. USD CAD. Last week we had a lovely winner on this that I went through on the um, on the trade recap. This was close. This did hit take profit. It did hit take profit, but it did go into some drawdown first. We've got a take profit here, a loss, a take profit, a take profit, and a loss. Yeah, and then that one's a take profit. There's going to be losers in any strategy. It's just how you factor them into your trading plan, uh, not your trading plan, how that plays out in your data. Yeah. So this is this this trading strategy here. We're only right 55% uh, of the time. But again, 7% drawdown, 129% uh, profit. Click list of trades. You can do this at the bottom of the idea and you'll see the winning runs and the losing runs, which is just uh, probable uh, probability. You have to have a probabilistic mindset when you're trading and not get emotionally tied in um, to a position. Yeah. NZD USD. I'll check the next three as well whilst I'm here. Um, how did this play out? There we go. Hit take profit. Just imagine your psychology at this point. And also, this, I mean, this is a great point here. Look at this level of support and resistance if you were drawing it. So I bet there's a load of traders here that got caught on this horizontal level. Let's look at the price action there. Pin bar candle, lots of wick rejections. I bet there was a lot of buyers in the market looking for a rally or a recovery from this period. Yeah. Entry was here at 0.62437, a 28 pip stop loss and a 53 pip take profit. So that's a one to two risk reward. This is the edge trend strategy, this one. So we're looking for a trending move. Um, we're going to have probably a lower win rate, probably 35, 40%. Let's have a look. 41%. But again, we've got a, a winter 
sorry, an average win to average loss ratio of two to one. So this trade came back to around entry and then continued down, taking out all of these um, traders in long positions, looking at this horizontal level that was broken through. So, you know, we might think we're right and we've got a solid setup, but the markets will do what they want. Um, AUDNZD. What do we got? We've got a winner. This might have been borderline, depends on, on, on the time of that and your spreads, but on trading view it hit, but I think you might have been a pip or two okay. Marginal, this one definitely hit here, and then it, it, it went back up here, but it's definitely hit take profit. So we've, uh, I think we're 100% so far, aren't we? Um, and most of these are pretty much live. This one's already moved a little bit before it was posted, which is really difficult. Obviously, if you're a Power Edge customer and a member of ours, you would get these instantly. Um, however, you decide to set your your screen and your charts and your pairs up. So this is three out of three on here. So that was a long, a short. These obviously weren't posted live, but these are what was on the screen at the time too. And then this long position. Again, only a few small pips, and that doesn't matter you can still risk 1% to make 1%. And again, there's the data and the stats to back this up. Um, I'll share one more. Um, I think I know pound ends are hit anyway. But let's have a look at AUD CAD. Oh, that was the one we've just clicked. Pound ends are D. If you can have a trading strategy where you're removing discretion over your entry, your exit, your stop loss, your take profit, and you've got a money management plan because you've got data to support, um, you know, your losing run and your periods of drawdown. Trading can be very straightforward. It's an execution game. You know, all of the work with this is done in the preparation. So here, three out of three. So, um, yeah, I wanted to um, hop on to recap them videos. I'll do this every week and hopefully let me know in the comments. Um, or on YouTube or on TradingView, wherever you're watching this. Any questions, reach out via direct message. But um, a, a good week, and I hope a few of you caught some of them. Um, and if you're looking to get more of these trades live, drop me a direct message. Thanks for watching. Catch